Kevin Gorg with you for another Fox Sports North Digital Update. Today we are talking Vikings football, and we're doing so with Troy Dye, rookie linebacker who's starting to find his way to the National Football League. First of all, happy holidays to you, Troy, and welcome to Fox Sports happy North. Happy holidays, happy holidays. Hey, what's it been like making the transition? You played big-time college football out in Oregon with the Ducks, and people always talk about that transition into the pro game, the speed of the game, the lifestyle. What's it been like for you? It's definitely been a, a different, a different like you said, it's, it's a big transition. Uh, the speed of the game is a little bit faster. Uh, the playbook's a little bit more in-depth. Offenses run a little bit more formations. Um, the work day's a little bit longer, a little bit harder. But, I mean, once you kind of get your get your feet down, ask some of the best on some skills on how to how to attack the day and what, what are the, some of the things that they do to get through the week, it's kind of it kind of comes second nature, and you kind of just find a routine, you kind of go with it. Uh, you kind of pick up the speed of the game as you kind of get the playbook and understand, like, the, the grand scheme of things at this level. So, I mean, it's, it's definitely a hard transition once you first get here, and COVID didn't help it at, at all without OTAs or mini camp or anything like that to get guys in here early to, to really get feet on the grass and really see things and moving like that. A lot of the stuff was virtual, so when we first came in during camp, it was it was kind of difficult to get get the bearings down. But once you kind of get your feet settled in and, and get going, it, it's just playing football like you've been doing since you were a little kid, and it, it's definitely a blast playing in, in this type of locker room with these type of guys because they they enjoy playing football and they enjoy having fun. You mentioned the pandemic; that was one of the challenges you guys faced. The other challenge you guys faced was a ton of injuries, which forced a lot of young players like yourself for a little baptism by fire. You guys started one and five. But you've gone five and one since, and you're starting to create some turnovers. What has been the biggest di difference for you guys as a team and for your defense? I just think it was uh, that bye week we came together and really sat down with everybody. And it was kind of just like, all right, we got to just put everything behind us in the past. I mean, the one and five happened. We just got to just move forward from this bye week and keep going and, and really just attack every week like it's it, like it's our last week. Like our back's against the wall. And we've done a great job. I mean, Coach Zim always comes in with some inspirational stuff on, on Mondays and Wednesdays. And we got stuff up on, on TVs throughout the building to get guys going and get guys juiced up. And uh, it's just the game plans are always really on point. I mean, guys are buying in. Nobody's really kind of just tucking their tails and running away. Everybody wants to go go for the challenge. And it, it's great to be in a locker room like that when you have the vets who are able to take those rookies like myself, like Jeff, like Cam, and take them under the wing and really just show them the ropes and really get us settled in and get us uh, familiar with the game. And that's been a big help for us. And I think uh, all of us rookies have done a, a good job of stepping up from uh, DJ to Jeff to Cam to, to Jet to all the guys who, who've made big impacts and, and big con contributions to the team so far. And uh, hopefully we can keep keep the winning going. You're wearing purple and gold now, but let's go back in time. Let's go back to when you were wearing the green and gold of the Oregon Ducks. You guys had a an interesting run in your four years there. Four wins, then seven, then nine, then 12. Yeah. What did that experience do for you as a young man to shape you and mold you to get you ready for who you are today as a pro with the Minnesota Vikings? I just think it showed you how to handle adversity. Like you said, you start off four and eight at a power five conference in Oregon. Nonetheless, you, you never expected to only win four games when you when you signed your letter of intent. So when we first, when I first got there, we won the four games and uh, they, they changed the whole coaching staff coming to my sophomore year. It, it really shows you like it, anything can happen year to year. So you really have to be on your own point every year and, and really strive to be great. And I think uh, just the adversity that you go through during those four years, especially like you said, just from four wins to five wins to, to seven wins to, to 12 or whatever, whatever the case was, it is super, it's a, it's a super beneficial thing to, to see all the hard work and all, all the, the, the hours you put in to actually pay off when you when you leave that school and you look back and like, man, like I left it better than I found it. And that's, that's really the biggest thing.